primitive valentines and antique finds welcome to my channel my name is jersey this is my primitive pineapple quilt that i started making a long time ago it's from 1800s reproduction fabric it's actually paper piecing if you can sew a straight line you can make these beautiful looks like very intricate hard things to sew it is not i did get all four Piece is sewed and I do have to make a border and a backing. Ray put that old lathing strip up there to the door because I've been usually putting it on my bathroom door. And hopefully I will finish that this month. And this is a wooden heart I made out of lumber. We tore down a very old barn garage and this was some of the lumber that wasn't usable on the whole board. So I had Ray cut a heart out I added two slats, put just little bitty bumpers underneath it, put a faux tulip on there, little sprigs of greenery, and a little wire. And that one is done. And here's one of the little birds that we made the other day, the love birdies. This one's on a stick, made with an old shirt of mine in wool. I have the pattern and tutorial for free at the blog. I'll leave the link below. Now this is one of my favorite prized possessions is this overshot made with wool that I got on the Appalachian days up near Knoxville a few years ago. This is the overshot pattern. I only take it out on special occasions. These are pillows. Every single one of these I got from the thrift store. The red velvet one is actually a Christmas one. I'm using it dual purpose, Christmas and Valentine's Day. We put our picture up that we had up there before. I took the red J out of my office and swapped it out for the gray one that was here. These I got a few weeks ago for $5 a piece with the candle that came with it and it holds the tea lights. It's glass and metal, really nice. I got two of them for five bucks a piece. I put one on each side of the bed. Now I'm leaving a lot of the prices on. I'll take them off when the video is over. Otherwise I'll forget how much everything is. I got this wreath a few weeks ago for $5. And must be someone else that painted the Christmas ones painted this. I got this for $3. This I had and the gourds I had and also the primitive shelf I had. And I just added one of my Tasha Tudor's gardening book on that prim cookbook holder. I got this a few weeks ago. These are actually pecans. Whoever made this or sold this painted them. This is an old nest with twigs. I paid $6 for that. These flowers I had but I bought the vase actually on my birthday and that was $8. Now the floor I left basically simple. I'm still working on the Easter rug. I have an old basket with some faux tulips. This beautiful wooden box I got for, let me see, $8.95, I love it. It holds my books. So there's all my Tasha Tudor books and my prim books that I read at night. This is some wool that was spun and I dyed it with cochineal bugs. They're little dead bugs from either Mexico or New Mexico. Beautiful red. Here's an overshot I had from last year. I just added that basket there. And these are some woven rugs and coverlets. I recently just got my rug beater. Mine literally died a couple years ago. This was $20. This I had made years ago. I showed you in one of my other tutorials. It's made with wool and I stuffed it with alpaca and the bugs are actually eating it. So do not stuff with alpaca. 
I just added a new key today. The arrow basket, I don't know what I'm gonna do with yet. Here is another heart from the old barn we tore down, plain and simple. Now this is a tree that I left up at Christmas time. I knew I was going to add my Valentines to it, and I'll briefly go through it. I have a free pattern and a tutorial how to make these love birdies. I just made this out of ticking. This is wool, and I hand embroidered love. I put a rusty bell on it. I did the beak um, round. I embroidered thread around the beak. That's an old cookie cutter I had for 50 cents. Here is another rusty one. I think I paid a dollar for it. I had some Tim Holtz keys that were found in the scrapbooking section. I hung them on the tree. My sweet friend Mary tatted that for me for my birthday last year. I just love it. There's another key from Tim Holtz. Now these hearts are made out of burlap. I think I got six of them for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And I just took embroidery floss and did a buttonhole stitch around it. This is wool. I cut it out. And then I just used some alpaca thread and I wove and stitched around it. I hung that. That's feed sack material I had left over. I just cut it out, did not even sew it. Here is another burlap heart. I just did some quick stitching for X's. Here is another wool bird. Same thing, I just cut it out. It's single, it won't fray. And then I did some alpaca wool, alpaca yarn, sewed around it. There is another heart from the Dollar Tree burlap that I sewed around. Here is a plain bird with an eye, nothing fancy. And I left this up from Christmas time, left this up, left some of the red bells up. I think it looks still looks very nice. This is a rug I wove years ago. I actually had a primitive couch that I picked up for $100 and I had it reupholstered and I sold it. Don't know what I was thinking why I sold it. But this red fabric is left over from the fabric that the couch was woven in. The brown fabric is old sheets that I used walnut hulls to dye. This usually goes in my kitchen. I washed it and put it in here today. And this, I think I had it up last time. I didn't really do anything different with this one. I left this on from Christmas time. I think it still looks nice. Same thing with the lamp. Well, I changed the lampshade out I got from the thrift store. Thrift store for $1.50. My prim pictures. I got these on eBay, just the pictures. I matted them from Hobby Lobby and cut it down. And then I got the frames from an antique store for $3 a piece. So I got that one and this one. And these are the two little dolls I just made. I don't know if I'm happy with them or not, but I just drew a heart and a body. I made my own pattern. This is my Prim Love Dolls. This is a rusty nail from this cabin. I took some twigs for the legs and the arms. This I wove on the loom. It's 100% linen. And I used the leftover dye from the cochineer wool and that's why it's toned down a little bit. It's not the same color. This is feed sack. I stamped on it. This is my rosemary. I put a little key in there, and these are the little red buds from last year. That is one doll, and that's a heart I use all the time. I change it out. And here's the other doll. I actually love the legs. They fit perfect. The tan is actually Oxenberg that I will not dyed. And the reddish burgundy is the linen that I wove and dyed. This is one of the hearts that I got from the Dollar Tree. I just cut it smaller and stamped on it and put a key in it. And this I have to put on the wall when my husband gets home. I got this for $2. 
I'm gonna hang it up here where I hang all the other pictures that I change out. And last, I got this stool to step up on the bed. It's beautiful. It's a hooked rug. It was for $24 and I got 20% off last year. Beautiful, I love it. It really helps me step in the high bed. You made it this far? I personally want to thank you. Please hit the bell over to the right, all notifications, and you will be notified each time I upload a new movie. And it's not called a movie, it's called a video. Please give a thumbs up, a like, and most important, please share on social media. It helps the algorithm push my videos.